What's poppin'? Gleese Nation, my name is TJ, and welcome to Unexplainable. Now guys, in the last video I told you I was going to be working on something different. We're not going to be doing it with ghosts, we're not going to be doing any more spear boxes for a little bit. We're going to talk about something very different that has been all over the news. So recently, we have discovered there's been an alien life form on Venus that CNN reported. Yes, actually CNN posted the story, but NASA, NASA has found alien life forms on Venus. And the thing is, like, I'm very excited about this only because I've always had a passion for aliens for some reason. Like, I've always wanted to know if there's life on other planets. And now that we found like alien life on Venus, it's like, it's amazing what we're dealing with, you know what I mean? But also, there's been something happening in Jersey, where a UFO has actually hovered over Jersey the other day. So, fine saucer. It was hovering over, I think it was like a convenience store in Jersey, I'm not exactly sure to be honest. But, um, a lot of people on Jersey Highway stopped and pulled over and they were filming with their phones of the flying saucer hovering over the thing. Now if you guys don't know what UFOs are, most of you do, some don't. An unidentified flying object. That's what a UFO stands for. And usually in UFOs there are aliens. Like many people know, little green men or little you know, gray aliens. Now, here's where the theory gets a little bit wacky. UFOs were discovered in around 1950-1960 by Roswell. And Area 51 is actually known to have UFOs and alien life there. Hence why there was an event called Storm Area 51 back in September before uh, the world went to shit. So basically, a lot of people are like convinced that aliens are out there living. Well, there is an actual story. Bob Lazar, he worked at Area 51. A lot of people know who Bob Lazar is, and Stephen Greer too. I don't really know much about Stephen Greer, but Bob Lazar is one of the guys who worked at Area 51 and actually worked in the UFO and it's a small space, not suitable for humans, but he's worked at he's worked on it before. So he like he said, it's a small space in this little in this UFO and humans couldn't fit in it. So he basically worked on it to see what it was, this, that, and the third. And he exposed Area 51 of all their secrets. And the government tried to wipe his mind. Now, the thing is with me, I'm a firm believer aliens are out there. I'm a big firm believer. Aliens are, uh, aliens are watching us. They're waiting to come down. Nobody knows when they are coming. Nobody knows how they're coming. Nobody knows if they're still, if they're here and they're just, you know, pretending to be friends of ours. A lot of people are very skeptical about this topic. Now, here's my topic. Every night when I sleep, my curtain right there, as Tori and I are sleeping, I see strange blue lights coming in and out of my windows. Both windows, the window over there and the window back there. So I've been seeing a lot of strange lights lately throughout the night when I sleep. And we live on a main road, but if you guys, you know, right now, like, in my apartment, I hear cars driving by, but at night you can't see any lights. So every time a light goes off, I always check. I always make sure and check the windows. That was there. No cars. I check the camera. No cars. It's weird. Um, but there are businesses actually behind my apartment building, and I'm starting to think that they are actually. Um, doing government tests on aliens, to be honest. And only because they're 
the blue lights are flashing in and out of my window every night and I don't know what else to do. It's weird. Um, I hope it's nothing, to be honest. I really hope it's nothing. But we'll see what happens. Also, Secure Team 10, the YouTuber who had 2 million subscribers and now he's back. He actually tried to uncover the alien truth and he had people watching him. And every time he's uncovering the truth, it cost him his YouTube channel. So now Secure Team is actually... But he's gone. But he has no more videos up anymore. Because someone tried to, tried to uncover the truth about aliens, lives, and UFOs. Someone got pissed off and they fucked with him. They threw him in his car overnight and he got arrested for being intoxicated behind the wheel. He got uh, arrested for abusing his wife, supposedly. So, he tried to uncover the truth about aliens, and it's getting to the point where aliens are now being found in. It's weird. It's really weird. And the fact that I have these blue lights flashing in and out my window is getting weird. And now that we saw a UFO hovering over a convenience store in Jersey, which Jersey is literally 30 minutes across the bridge. And here's the kicker. I posted this video. I posted the YouTube video on my Facebook page a long time ago, about two days ago when it came out. I got fact checked from Facebook saying that it was false information. How the hell is it false information? I don't think it's false information. Here's something that many people don't know about aliens and UFOs and whatnot. If you even mention UFOs, if you mention anything, the government is going to take it down. The government doesn't want you to know what's out there. The government doesn't want you to know that they have biological weapons, you know, that could kill an entire um, human race. The government doesn't want you to know anything. The government took down my post on Facebook and said, this is fact-checked because it's false information. So now they're saying um, the UFO hovering in New Jersey was a blimp. I'm going to post a video. I, am, I do not own this video, so don't get offended. Roll the clip. Yo, I don't know, but everybody stopped to see the aliens. It says, <laughs> that's what everybody said, bro. I don't know if that's true or not, but everybody blocked the highway. Say the aliens come to get us, I don't know. is watching our every moves. They are listening in on us right now. They could be listening to me doing this right now. There are cameras and bots everywhere. They could be a little fly. They could be something else. The government is watching you. The government is not your friend. And the fact that they're taking down alien videos and UFO videos, it makes me think they do not want us to know that aliens are around. And I don't even think the aliens want to be known because the government has something that could probably kill them. Area 51 is one of the biggest places out there that harbor aliens and UFOs. If you don't believe me, go check the Bob Lazar interview on Netflix. Um, it's just nuts, guys. So, that's literally all I really have to say. That aliens exist. They are out there, and they are going to come find us no matter what. Um... I didn't want to do something crazy. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna go investigate the place behind my apartment and find aliens. I'm gonna see if the government is behind... 
I want to see the government. I want to see if the government is doing any alien experiments back there. Because I believe they are, guys. I honestly believe that they're doing alien experiments back there. Because blue lights just don't come in the window. It's really weird. So, yeah, I want to go back there. I want to go back there in a couple days and see if aliens are alive. See if there's any alien experiments going on. Hold that thought. Yo, Steve. to go and investigate UFOs this week. Alright, perfect. See you on Saturday. I'm going UFO hunting.